Back last it here talking fun and exciting sodas. Is that what you call that part of the world? It's a mix that comes on brand and it's you think Mexican and you think it's soda, you should know what it is. I hope. It's pretty rare. It is officially exported down under. We can't get all the flavors. It's not quite, but pretty damn close. And you do have to shop around the fun though. It's the Jaquitos in Wuhan. It is clearly so American, that's one thing. She might have all that on the back. It's supposed to be stick air and then potter. So, what's it like? Jaquitos watermelon. I thought you were going to say, oh, you're mispronouncing it. Well, fuck you too. So I don't know any better. Hmm. Funky. This little tastes like actual watermelon puree drinks. <laughs> But it's more fragrant, it's um, a little bit musky and it's a hell of a lot sweeter, almost like a, a fairy floss or um, what in the American, is that what, yeah, that's what Americans call it, a cotton candy if you use in Queen's English, um, sort of sweetness because it eats in this sugar, there's a there's a certain flavour to the sweetness that melds well with this sort of candied interpretation of what a real watermelon tastes like. So it's, um, it's adequate. How many would do? If I was enjoying some tacos at a fancy Mexican restaurant and I said, oh, what about a lot of watermelon? Get me out of that. I won't be that disappointed because I couldn't really taste it that well amongst all the spikes of the intensity. But if you're looking to savour that flavour, could do better. Might be able to do worse. The first time I've had a Gitos in a very long time and probably watermelon ever, so. That bastard out here.